I think one like aha moment was I was sitting there with these two girls and we had these robots that you create colored codes and then the robot will like run on the code and they were like, look at what I did. And they created their own like special code and it was just amazing to like see their faces light up and be like, I can do something like this. I'm Anais. Um, I started OSS in sixth grade. When I was younger, I was like, I want to be a construction worker. I want to build robots. Like that was something that I was really passionate about. Growing up, I didn't see a lot of women in that field and I also didn't have a lot of opportunities to explore different things like that. Miss Eugenia and I became very close in my first year because I felt like an outsider when I first entered because everybody was already like friends. So I looked to her as sort of like my mentor because I was interested in a lot of things that she was also very passionate about. Her and I just became like very close and started planning events together and doing a lot of things together. I'm Toby Eugenio, the creativity director here at our sister school. The STEAM program came out of that idea that we know that technology and engineering and design are fundamental to how we live in our world. And we need to create opportunities for young women to step into a space that they've not had a place for forever, quite honestly, and do it at a young age. Our school is based around the idea of bold, brave, and innovative sister sailors who are not afraid to sail the big seas and make a change. So Anais not only is an active listener, she is authentic in all that she does, she unabashedly steps forward and takes risks, and she's had to practice it, you know, she will say that for sure. Anais is open to trying new things, additionally has learned to make mistakes and be like, okay, and move on. And her ability to follow through and practice and create space for others and model and welcome others is such a brilliant gift. My name's Samantha, I'm in seventh grade and I've been in OSS for almost two years. In order to be a change maker, you need to know that you can fail, but you also need a team to help you. Mistake making is a huge part of our program. We like to make mistakes often, fast, prototype, and build that resiliency and that mindset of, I can do this. Miss Eugenio was very encouraging of me being like, you know, you have a voice here because like oftentimes I'd be like, oh, I'm just like a little sixth grader. I can't do anything. And Miss Eugenio was always there to be like, no, you have a voice. You're important. And that made me think there's probably a lot of other girls that are thinking like this. And like talking to some of my classmates and peers, noticing they were feeling the same way. I'm like, well, maybe we should probably do something about it. She was very out there in the community and she was doing a lot of positive changes. And I kind of wanted to follow after her steps. She did become a mentor for me. So change making is like so infused to absolutely everything we do in the creative suite, but really at our school. Anything we do here at our sister school, particularly in our curriculum, is really built around that, that agency of, of youth and that ability for youth to see their ability to have social impact. And then when humans have the tools, then they can take action. And they know that they have the right to take action, and they know that they deserve the right, and that they should take action. At the end of eighth grade for a change-making project, I decided to host a STEAM event downtown during AHA night for basically younger students to come and explore STEAM activities and different sort of like technologies they can do when they get older. And so I hosted it with Miss Eugenio and I had six other volunteers. We had like four different stations set up. Kids could come in. They had robots that would change colors in like different directions. They built their own robots. There was Legos. It was a lot of fun. And at the end of the night, they got to take home their own STEAM activities to continue. So it was basically just an event to get kids passionate and learning about different STEAM things and just have fun. And once I had the event planned, I'd heard that Sam wanted to do her own art event too. So I was like, all right, well, let's just put them together so that we can both, you know, get to do something. And also art is a part of STEAM. So it was just like, it just worked out perfectly. And so they spent an evening, like just inviting the community in to come and do four or five different things. And the other cool part is it wasn't just one activity. It was like, I want to expose them to robots, to Legos, to Ozobots, to problem solving, and they get it. It's so cool. After the event, I was more interested in doing more things that had to do with my community. You have to challenge yourself to a certain degree in order to make a change because you know you can't. Do something that has been repeated multiple times, but you also need some inspiration to do something new. Just seeing like their faces light up doing stuff, I think that was one of the biggest impacts. Because we're the future generations, so we have to make sure that we're building up ourselves and each other so we can continue to grow. Fundamentally, she continues to grow. My change-making mindset sort of just allows me to mostly like just get my work done and just be a productive person, like continue to push forward every day. When I think about our school, they're actively doing that, that sense of belonging and being, you know, bold, brave, innovative, be change-makers. It's the way it should be.